I'm fine. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV here in Saudi Arabia. Day of Reckoning is nearly upon us. This Saturday I'm joined by Mr. Philip Hergovic. How are you, mate? Everything good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, thank you for doing this interview with me first, even though you did someone else first, actually. <laughs> yeah, premise you first. I'm sorry, man. How's your week been so far in Saudi? We're only at the start of the week, it's only Tuesday, but how, how long have you been here and how's it been? Everything perfect. I like to be here. I came on a, a Sunday and uh, third time in Saudi Arabia. Always, always pleasure to be here. It's really nice. And we have a piano, pianist playing over there. It's very everything. chilled out, isn't it? Yeah, everything. You come to Saudi Arabia, you get everything, man. <laughs> Good, absolutely. Um, a stacked heavyweight card, not just a heavyweight card, obviously we have uh, Bivol and Lyndon Arthur, but the majority of the card is a, is a stacked heavyweight card. Um, what's your thoughts on your opponent this weekend? My opponent has the best record on the card. You know what I mean? Okay. Better than Wilder, better than Joshua. <laughs> so... I'm very excited, you know, and uh, I hope so I'm not his next victim. I will do my best to, to screw his almost perfect record. Yeah. He's yeah. like 43 and 1, something like that. Yeah, I mean, we know the, de the defeat that he had, obviously, it was when a lot of us first knew about him. Uh, many years ago against David Hay. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Uh, and man, yeah, he's... Uh, uh, I don't like to underestimate any of my opponents. He's a good guy. I'm, uh, I did good preparation for this fight, like always I do. I look like I did like... Oh, hundred rounds of sparring and everything like usual, and uh, but I'm big favorite in this fight, and he's not on my level, and uh, it should be easy job for me. But uh, you never know in boxing. He's uh, has nothing. He has nothing to lose, and uh, he has big motivation, of course. It's a big chance for him, and yeah, I should be careful, you know. And uh, like I said, I hope so. I'm not his next victim. <laughs> okay, yes, always be cautious. Um, Philip, obviously we know you're not going to be overlooking uh, this Saturday. You have a job to do, and we know that you're completely focused on that. But I do want to ask you about um, the situation regarding the, the IBF. You and the IBF seem to have been uh, like a... I don't know what's going on, but completely, but it seems to be going on for such a long time. What's your understanding of your situation in terms of, we know you're number one, but what is the situation? You come through this fight, what could possibly happen after Saturday should you come through? Nothing can happen. I'm the next man. All, uh, enough things had happened, so it's enough. I wait for uh, such a long time. And uh, nothing can happen anymore. The IBF uh, declared that I'm the next, and if the Fury Usyk winner should fight me, or if they're gonna have rematch, they should vacate the title, and I'll fight next best ranked uh, on IBF uh, list. So I win on Saturday night with God help, and. Uh, Looking forward to get my title shot, you know, like in uh, maybe first half of the next year of the next year. So hypothetically, if we're in a situation where obviously, yes, you come through Saturday and then um, Fury and, and Usyk will fight on February 17th here in, in Riyadh. Um, if a fight with whoever, whether it's Fury or Usyk doesn't happen, then that, that belt 
to your understanding, will definitely become vacant. And then you will fight whoever. There's rumours that there could be a fight there with Anthony Joshua for this IBF title. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, it could be Anthony Joshua if he beat Wallin. It could be Wallin if he beats Joshua. But we see that if Joshua wins, that he agreed to face Deontay Wilder in March. So he's, he's not going to be available. So I'll fight next best ranked. And I think it's Jared Anderson on the list. So maybe winner of Fury is going to fight me. You never know. So there's a lot of like five different scenarios what, what can happen. But uh, I don't care if I fight uh, Usyk or Fury or Joshua or Anderson or Wallin. I don't care. I just want to get my, you know, my chance, my, my shot for the title. Because a lot of them names you're mentioning, they're, they're equally as hard a fights for you as whoever. So yeah. it doesn't really matter as long as you get your shot, your long-awaited shot um, for the IBF title. Yeah, they're all good fighters. Every, every, like you said, all of them gonna give me a good, uh, hard fight. And uh, if if Valin beat Joshua, he'll become like a star. You know, like uh, everybody will hear about him. You know, and uh, in any case, I'm gonna get a good fight and. Uh, I don't care who who gonna be. I really don't care. I know you don't care, but if you could pick out of those four or five opponents, it, do you not have a preference of who you'd want to fight out of them? Just for yourself, if if all the options were there for the IBF title, um, who would you pick to fight? Uh, the easiest one, or I'll pick the, I don't know whoever. You don't have a preference of who you want to fight then? No, I don't care really. Uh, I don't care, I just want to get... Uh, I know I'm going to beat anyone who I face and uh, that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I waited um, 17 years in boxing, man. So, no one will stop me. Not even you. What? Not even Why you. would I want to stop you? I like you. But do you f have, have you been frustrated waiting this long for a title shot? And you still don't have it yet. It's pending over the next few months. But are you frustrated or have been frustrated that it hasn't happened yet? I'm not frustrated. There was a lot of uh, hard times. Like last four years, they like fucking me. And uh, there's a lot of bullshit, a lot of uh, problems, but uh, I, I, sometimes I was very frustrated. It was hard, hard uh, time, but uh, on the end, I'm not frustrated. You know, I'm uh, undefeated, I'm young, I'm in the, still healthy, in good shape, in the best age, best age for heavyweight. Uh, I'm top 10 uh, heavyweight and uh, I'm not frustrated, you know, I did, uh, I'm happy with my life, with my career and I know that uh, best years are, are coming for me, next few years and I think God put everything perfect for, for me, you know, God, God plan. We are not the ones who are planning. Sometimes we are frustrated, but uh, God did a good plan for me. And I, I believe I had all these uh, struggles and all these hard times. And that uh, hard times prepare you. It make you stronger for the, for the future and for the upcoming battles. So I'm very happy f with the place I am. I'm mandatory challenger, you know, and uh, I believe everything will be good. And I'll be world champion and uh, 
I'll give you interview when I'll be world champion. Well, the first one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Deal, deal. The first one. Deal. So when, when you're on a TV network, you, yeah, you and they're about me. to interview you, I'm going to come in there. You treated me. You treated me nice when I was, you know, no one, not famous. And when I become world champion, I'll give you interview. Is that fair? First, first interview. You weren't a nobody. Everybody's a somebody. I mean, you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Thank you. I appreciate the comments. <laughs> um, right, quickly. Do you know this song, Ed Sheeran? Do you know this song? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like a bit of Ed Sheeran. What music do you listen to anyway? Only this piano. Piano, but uh, covers. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Who's your favourite? Like, do you like Elvis or? You like Bob Marley or Celine Dion? No? Anyone? Croatian, Croatian music. Yeah? Yeah. You should hear Croatian music and you're not. But going. Is Croatian music like rave music? Because everyone goes to Croatia for rave, rave parties. A lot of different music in Croatia. Just joking. I listen to everything. I don't have some particular uh, style what I like. I listen to everything and Croatian music and uh, English and Americans and all, like you said, Elvis Presley, yeah. Eric Clapton or all, all these guys and uh, I, I listen to everything. Do you know any Christmas songs? <laughs> no, do you know any? I love Christmas songs. Do you know any? No. You don't know one Christmas song? No. <laughs> Just, you must know one. <laughs> Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, Just and the very next to, to day, sing. and the very next day, you gave it away. Do, 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 do. This year, I don't know words. That's wham. Huh? That's wham. George Michael, wham. Mm. Okay. Good. I think you'd be a good singer, to be honest with you. Um, right, just quickly before we go, I'm going to quickly name five fights. You're going to just pick the winner out of each one. Don't even think about it. Okay. Ready? I, I need to say winner. Just, huh? just the winner. But don't think. Just first word. Oh, okay. Right. Joshua Wallin. Joshua. Wilder Parker. Wilder. Fury Usyk. Uh, Usyk. Joshua Wilder. Joshua. Joshua Hergovic. Hergovic. <laughs> Philip Hergovic, thank you. This last one was easy, man. You didn't even really think about that one, obviously. <laughs> Philip Hergovic, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We wish you the best of luck thank on you, Saturday night. Have you got anything else you want to say? Speak some Croatian. Let's go, baby. Oh, is that how they speak in Croatia? Huh? <laughs> speak some Croatians, you're Croatian people. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you. Let's do it. I'm fine.